tonight, Chris Patrick Chambers will make a brief opening statement. Then we'll open it up for questions. Please raise your hand if you need a question asked, and we'll go in order. Uh, hard fought battle, Penn State, Ohio State. It seems like it always is. Uh, I'm proud of my guys. We got down 15. We went down again in the second half. Uh, we went down again in the second half, and we just kept fighting back. Um, I'm really proud of the leadership of Lamar Stevens, Josh Reeves. Um, we had our chances. Fat a little too much, obviously, from the disparity in, in free throws. But we, we got to learn how to play hard and together without fouling. And then we got to be able to finish games. I thought we got some really good looks down the stretch. Execution was outstanding by Rajir Bolton, Josh, Lamar, the five guys that finished the game. We'll learn from this. Obviously, we're not happy with losing. Uh, there's no moral victories, but I felt like we got better tonight. Pat, did you feel your press would be as effective against them as it proved to be? I think when we play hard, I didn't feel like in the first half there, the first eight to 10 minutes, we played very hard in the press. But I thought it might help us slow them down a little bit, especially if Kaleeb was in the game, because the last game he was terrific. Uh, I think he had 21 in the first half. So uh, that was a big concern. So we wanted to just bring that clock down a little bit so they had less time to get him the ball. Pat, you guys were down, I think it was, you were down 15 maybe with five or six minutes left in the first half. What, what did you see change from that point on that allowed you guys to get back into the game and then ultimately take a lead? You know, we went small, played small, played Stevens at the five. I felt like that just gave us the best chance to, to compete. And it did for us to come back all the way from 15 and really have a sluggish start. You know, we look like a team that just played on Monday. Um, which we did, but this is the Big Ten. You got to come back. You got to be mentally tough, and we're working on that. We're working on all aspects, um, but I'm, I'm proud of the guys. You know, we got turnovers, we got we got uh, stops, we got rebounds, and we started scoring the ball. What was the challenge of keeping composure? There were a lot of whistles going both ways, and that obviously impacted the flow. What was the challenge of keeping composure as that went on? You know, uh, I'm a better coach when I'm composed and poised. So I guess I'm going to get after the refs. They're all good guys. Um, but then I got to take a big deep breath and next play, next two plays, next three plays, I got to get ahead of the game, which I thought my staff did a great job too. And uh, give Chris, Chris Holtman credit, and they did a really good job. They were well prepared for this game. Pat, it, it seemed like you guys were fairly effective in trying to take Caleb Wesson out of the game. I think you might have only had one or two field goal attempts. Um, just what, what was your focus there in trying to, to, to limit the impact that he had? Really, he was in foul trouble. So I think that really helped us. And then I thought Mike came out with good energy in the first half. I thought John did a, a good job with him. Um, tried to pressure on the outside, but I mean, Cleve's a big time player. The game here last year obviously comes down to the, the buzzer beater three, close game there at Penn State, and then obviously the Big Ten tournament game. But what has it been like coaching against Chris Holtman and, and kind of what has made these battles kind of as epic as they've been between you two? Um, you know, like I said, Chris is a great coach. You know, I guess we get up for playing each other. Um, we're enjoying the, the battle. Uh, we're friendly at the meetings. Um, but yeah, we, we want to compete. We want to beat each other for sure. Um, we had some good ones against that too. So um, I'm not sure. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's definitely a nice little rivalry here.